Well, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Tuesday trading session, the 7th of uh, February 2017. Uh, please be sure to visit signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, the uh, market stats, we have the Asian market certainly weaker overnight, although US equity market futures are certainly very, very bullish testing those highs uh, at present with the uh, uh, Nasdaq potentially breaking out here now uh, above that 5160 zone and the S&P potentially testing that 2300 level uh, and laying siege on that uh, uh, zone again. In terms of the European markets at present we uh, certainly have um, the FTSE up uh, pretty stellar up 0.7% the German DAX up 06 the CAC certainly lagging and remains weak and the FTSE MIB certainly bouncing off to yesterday's sell-off. Mr Draghi certainly was very dovish yesterday but the uh, concerns or political uncertainty in the Eurozone especially with France uh, last Friday terrorist incident Mr Le Pen now potentially uh, uh, the front runner now and also Mr Fillion obviously his uh, uh, potential fraud scandal certainly surrounds him so the uh, political uh, situation in the front certainly does seem to be in disarray at present okay settings are okay here yeah, there you go okay the sound should hopefully be better now okay so that certainly is the situation or status quo at present in terms of economic data today we've had weak numbers from germany again even with retail sales week and now we've had industrial production data minus three percent so certainly on the weaker side uh, and also uh, uh, brc like for like retail sales on the uk as well certainly on the negative side as well hence the reason why you're seeing the uh, gbp certainly below 1.24 Okay, now we've had uh, um, economic data from France, uh, trade balance slightly better than expected, exports certainly on the up, okay, uh, UK house prices certainly weaker as well. We're looking forward now to the US trade balance, Red Book, Jolts, uh, we've got the dairy auction as well from, New from the Kiwi, and we've got economic optimism and API data later on before the BOJ summary, bank lending, etc. in the evening. Okay, so that certainly remains the... Um, the focus now let's look at the actual technical picture the hns formation on the dax certainly hasn't triggered as of yet we're still uh, basically around the neckline at present so keep an eye on the hns formation the daily chart on the german dax certainly can break down at any time in terms of the german dax you are now into resistance previous support equals resistance on the german dax if we continue to thrust higher then you do have that unfilled gap for unfilled gap above so just bear that in mind and a thrust to 611650 certainly uh, can't be uh, obviously uh, ignored either okay so just bear that in mind 10 minute chart on the german dax certainly a thrust higher taking out resistance zone zones below uh, there was a resistance zone here certainly has taken that out so an impressive thrust from 11480 to 11580 so 100 point swing there if we do push higher then you have 11620 as uh, the 200 ma resistance so bear that in mind in terms of the French CAC, the daily chart still has the HNS formation target remains 4710, looking to potentially close that gap at 4630. Just bear that in mind. 60 minute chart, uh, the uh, unfilled gap below remains. You've got unfilled gap at 4750, certainly need to close that. So, from my perspective, bias certainly remains bearish. 10 minute chart, you are now coming into resistance after closing the gap. Okay, if you do push lower, then you are looking at potential double bottom support around the 4760 zone on the French CAC, so just bear that in mind. Okay, now in terms of the NASDAQ, let's bring that up for you as well. Again, like I said, you had gap fill resistance at 5170, looking at 5170, certainly holding on the NASDAQ. Okay, and certainly looking to potentially move lower. The HS formation certainly fails, so 5170 is certainly to, to remain uh, as a resistance for now. Okay, folks, on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your training needs and certainly take advantage of the uh, bonus. Goodbye now.